of the Women's College World Series with one of the deepest fields we've ever had in Oklahoma City. Four former champions are here. Four 50-win teams are here. And the four-peat still very much in play for Oklahoma. We open up with Alabama and UCLA. Four games coming your way. Are you ready? Because here they come. Freshman out of Glendale, Arizona, it's Caitlin Terry. Just one loss all year long. She's won her last nine starts, and she induces the pop-up right away from Kristen White. One down. DC school. They've played in the finals twice. Right back up the middle. And Brady, no chance to make the play, and a runner aboard for the tie. But look at the fewest wins by an SEC team. They're right there. But that's been part of their magic. Swing and a miss. Cahalen strikes out, two down. Down and away. Fly ball up to center field. Janelle Mionio is there. A base hit, stranded. And now Maya back-to-back -back honors his Pac-12 Player of the Year. And she scampers down to first base on strike three. Yeah, that rise ball is where they're weakest. Right back to Beaver, spins, fires to second. Yep, she kept her foot on it. Out. And that'll take away the double play, but Callie Hevlin was able to keep her back. And two. Oh. Skips away from Marley Giles, who's back in the starting lineup behind the plate for just the third game now. Returning, ending it with UCLA. Beaver got her. How about the start for Kayla Beaver? Strikeouts of both Brady and Bruno, California, all Pac-12 season this year. Calling for it, and she'll get there. Tinsley, Tinsley last year only had about 26 innings, so they really just had no experience in the circle. And KT Caitlin was injured earlier this year, and so had some things they had to work around. Works 27th season in Tuscaloosa. Valentine lifts that out to left. Jalen Alchin has it. It's two down. Father-daughter relationships were been around so long you get the mom and the mom the mom and the daughter. Base knock for Bailey Dowling with two outs. And Alabama has picked up along the way. Fly ball out to center. Mionio's got it. Side is retired. Another stranded scoreless to the bottom of the second. Today at the Women's College World Series. Slow roller to short. Cahalen charges, one down. We start out with double elimination format, and when we get down to the last two teams, you only have a 6% chance of reaching the finals. Trying to work all the way back out of the loser's bracket. Quick work for Kayla Beaver, two down as she gets Pola. Senior from Barona, California. In her fifth year with UCLA. Right back to Beaver, the one hopper. One, two, three, second inning for Bama. In the finals in 2005 as a freshman. Good young arms. Shallow right center, Megan Grant has it. One down. Hey, don't forget about the Two down. Murph's been having a lot of fun uh, with the media the last couple of days. Bet you guys didn't expect to see us in the <laughs> That's her hand, Lauren Johnson, the young player that only gets it as a pinch runner, and so she's getting these at-bats because of that verb. Hey, and there you go, right on cue for Lauren. The base hit the opposite way. Oh, by the way, she got on base. Oh, coaches want to know that. They want to know who's feeling good and who believes in themselves. Okay, Halen chopped to short. Brady is there. So a hit in each inning for Alabama, but unable to bring them closer to home. Still has been on one day at a time since. How, 
the roller down the first base, Esmond has it. However, one look at the bracket and it tells you that it's possible that UCF. There's Nelly Mionio in the nine spot. so she gets as many at-bats as possible. Rip through the right side and a base hit for Brady. Mionio had to hold so it wouldn't hit her and first and second for UCLA with one down. Same exact spot, another base hit. Mionio being waved around, it's mishandled by Johnson. And UCLA takes the lead. Esmond, you can see at first base, look at the way that she's in front of the bag. Her corners are pulled in, and because of that situation, easily able to get that through that 3-4 hole, a little bit of a bobble out in right field. That's going to put UCLA up on the board. Esmond had been back a little bit more opportunity to potentially keep that ball on the infield, but a great base hit by Alchin to get the Bruins on the board. They're needing that barrel to contact. Right back to Beaver, fires to Cahalan over the first double play, Alabama. Limits the damage. Kayla, both the regular season and the tournament championships. Johnson, out to Alchin and left, on down. Kelly Inouye, Perez. Athletes, and just check in with them so they could get in their best frame of mind. Thank you, Holly, as uh, Giles draws the walk. So another base runner here for the gold medalist both. And of course, the Hall of Famer, Holly Roy. Swing and miss and the throw down and the tag applied by Brady. And they cut down Giles at second. I think that looked like that was potentially a hit and run because Valentine's going after a pitch. You can see she tries to check it. Giles going down. Palacios wanted the best of the business at a pop time, so glove to glove. And then, ooh, the tag. See, you can't talk to your hitters, but you can talk to your pitchers and your defenders. Valentine out in front of the change. It's back to your childhood. Yes, absolutely. Yes, you know? that's right. Had many of banana splits. <laughs> She says, still to this day, as she gets the out. Holly's got more. Is this on the ice cream? At a moment's notice, homered against Georgia in their super regional sweep. And a strikeout for Beaver. That's her third. Two down. One, two pitch from Kayla. To third. Bailey Dowling has it. And there it is, another one, two, three inning for the Tide. We've completed four of the first game of this Women's College World Series. Knowing that you have that as a freshman, you're the go-to. Good fight right now with Bailey Dowling, and Bailey's going to win it. Off of Terry's glove. And she's on board for the second time today in that tying run. Double header today, and then a double header tonight here at Devon Park. In our double elimination format, Lauren Esmond drops down the sacrifice. And the Tide have their first runner in hits. Hevlin and over the head of Maya Brady. We're going to have a play third and now quickly pivoting and turning back to second was Pate. Did not get a good jump on that. Had to wait to see if Maya was going to make the catch. <laughs> This is a loaded for Bama. I think about this pitching change that happened. You know, Caitlin Terry. Dowling singled, Hevlin singled. White walk to load him up. Infield pop up, taken by the second baseman, Kuro. Two down. on 
on the bases, and that one at home wasn't even close. The ruling on the field of out at the play is confirmed. You're, you're aggressive, you're looking for a bobble, maybe a throw offline, but UCLA was on the money. And to Florida as well, Corby Otis and, and Jocelyn Erickson. Slow roller to Kakira with a short. Have to face the dynasty to try and pick up that first win. Another ground out, two down. What you got for us, Holly? Well, you talked a little bit about Caleb. Chop to second. Have a nice charge in the scoop. That's the third one, two, three inning for Caleb Beaver. They had a lot of time to think. As Johnson pops it up left side, one down. A lot of time to think after an early exit from the SEC tournament. A couple weeks. Way to crunch time here in our opener on opening day. The first of four games. Double elimination for him. Oh, and that got Giles on the arm. Hit batter. The Crimson Tide have had base runners in every inning to you know, that has been. Listed as a big room for improvement, and we're starting to see it now both in the dugout and on the field. Swing and a miss. Big strikeout for Tinsley. Ends the threat. We head to the bottom of the, the six. Six. Second in all of those categories. Deep in the hole. Cahalen's got a hurry. Not in time. Brady legs it out. And the go-ahead run aboard. Seventh infield single of the season for Maya. Jadlyn Alchin drops it down. Beaver will record the out at first, one away. Only the second free pass, an intentional walk and a hit batter. So the moment belongs to Megan Grant, the sophomore. She needs, but she gets on the rubber and she wants to come at you. Rory, deep fly ball, Johnson tracking back, it goes and it is gone! Jordan Rory, three run home run for UCLA to take the lead in the battle of the six. Talk about being ready for a pitch. Look at this up and in. Jordan Woolery, beautiful job. You see her hands stay close to her body. Watch them tuck in, because this pitch is coming in. And Woolery meets this pitch. When you get up and in and you can meet it, it's got nowhere to go. But out of the park, her 10th for the sophomore, the biggest of the season. Grounder to Cahalan at short. That will end the inning. But the Bruins put a three spot on the board. Rick, all year long, they'll try and turn to that here. Esman, fly ball in foul territory. And it's caught up against the wall. Jadlin Alchin. Little left field love for you, Mendoza. Here's Callie Hevlin, 0-2. Out in front, two down. Shallow center coming on to make the catch is Mionio and UCLA wins the opener over Alabama 4-1 on the Jordan Rory three-run home run in the bottom of the sixth inning. Beautiful combination of team effort and objects of the last seven.
kind of straight effort all the way around for UCLA. A very young team, a very inexperienced team when it comes to the Women's College World Series. Stepping on that field like they've been here before, pretty impressive. Let's take a look at our Capital One rewarding performance.